The invitations for the royal wedding were printed and sent out a couple of weeks ago, but today we found out who wasn't getting one. Theresa May is not on the list, nor is Jeremy Corbyn, nor Donald Trump. In fact, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have decided, and the Queen has approved, that there will be no stuffy old politicians in Windsor on the 19th of May unless the couple know them personally. Contrast that with the wedding of Harry's brother, Prince William, to the then Kate Middleton in 2011. Among the 1,900 guests, prime ministers and former prime ministers, a sprinkling of ambassadors and several heads of state. So what's the difference? Mainly size. St George's Chapel in Windsor holds only 800 people at a push, half the capacity of Westminster Abbey in London. And that means even friends of Harry's, like Barack Obama, won't be going either, even though the former president supported the prince at last year's Invictus Games. However, some of the 2,500 people who have been invited into the grounds of Windsor Castle were allowed today to share their news. There's I couldn't like... believe it at all. I'm so excited. Kimberly Watkin is renovating the arches underneath Carlisle train station for her community. So um, humble that I've been invited because of all the work that I've been doing in Carlisle Undercroft. Volunteers and community leaders from across the country were picked not for the chapel but for the area just outside. Amy Wright in Dunfries is another of the ticket holders. To just be a very small part of that day for Prince Harry and Meghan, it's just going to be a very special moment and something I don't think I'll ever forget. In so many ways, the wedding of the brother who's unlikely to become king is shaping up to be quite different from the one for the brother who will be king. Chris Shipp, ITV News.